Now, I know what you're thinking. On to this. Folks, the dark matter and dark energy debate rages on, but with a new twist now, and nobody should be questioning the shift. A new paper is out describing why dark energy is not needed in the universe. A fascinating topic. It comes 15 months after the Duke of CERN had to admit they cannot find what they were looking for. Then, a few weeks later, others stated they didn't need it in their models, a few weeks later, other models that didn't need dark matter or Einstein's relativity began passing their first tests. We're still in the fall of 2016 at that point. They look elsewhere last winter and still couldn't find the dark matter. And on the same day, news was released explaining even more models that work without dark energy. They started adding cherries and sprinkles to the Sunday this spring. When scientists realized that ion-trapping dust was hiding 95% of the electric currents on Enceladus, nobody seemed to remember that's about the amount of the universe missing in the original models that required dark matter in the first place. If we are 5% at Saturn's moon, how much of the currents do you think we're detecting in the deep cosmos? And we're back to today's new model. Once again, no dark energy needed, which would also eliminate dark matter. That is all in 15 months, folks. Wow. An explanation lurking for missing electrons who'd been irking while CERN is busy searching for dark matter neath the floor. And their eyes must feel the seeming, just as long as they're not sealing, as the best of Earth revealing what's to be a thought of yore. Electrons on deck to peck, peck, peck the percentage of dark matter yet, this revelation represents but one half of the poor. A false prophet it is seeming, building demons, searching, dreaming, we've two particles to get before it's lifted, never more. We have our electron explanation. That makes the other two particles the protons and neutrons, also known as tri-quark heavy interacting particles called baryons. Two groups of scientists went looking for dark matter. They collaborated to look at the same thing, the cosmic web, which is supposed to be the macro-scale dark matter of the universe holding everything together, and on a smaller scale, the structure holding galaxies together and linking them to one another, often on a line equidistant apart from one another. Astronomers have even constrained that distance to about 30 million light years. On a line, equidistant apart is not gravity, but indicative of a wave frequency. But back to this. The headline is that half the matter is found. But what they don't say is what amount of dark matter was replaced. If they found this matter somewhere else, the question is moot, but they found it in the heart of where dark matter is supposed to rule over the entire universe. This direct replacement is not insignificant, and coupled with the missing electrons and electric currents they'll soon find across the cosmos, just like they found at Enceladus, a slippery slope has now birthed an avalanche. The cosmic web is considered to be one of the largest sources of dark matter, and the cosmic filaments have now been stripped of that designation in the same swoop as the baryons were discovered. This means that the missing baryon problem and the dark matter problem are interlaced, and that it is almost certainly the case with those missing electrons we discussed as well. Be on the lookout over the next four or five years for major publications to begin pushing space and atmospheric electricity as a major contribution to their volumes, and that will be intimately related to this matter.